Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Headless Series. I'm Gunam Madhivanan from Office of IAS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss another important interesting topic that is Global Minimum Tax. Global Minimum Tax. Friends, please watch my video on BPS, Base Erosion Profit Shifting. My, in the playlist in the previous videos, I have explained about BEPS. The global minimum tax will be an extension of this BEPS topic. Without understanding BEPS, you cannot relate the significance of global minimum tax. So please watch this BEPS. Okay. So in the BEPS example, what did I say? So biryani factory, that is Gunas biryani factory in India is making a profit of 1000 crore. So for which 30% tax has to be paid. That is 300 crore rupees of tax has to be paid. So Guna was feeling that this is Guna's hard earned money. How can he give this much amount of money to the government in the name of tax? So what Guna did, Guna called the experts, auditors, advocates to find a way out to save this tax amount, to reduce this tax liability. So finally what Guna did, Guna took Marushius. So in Mauritius, Guna came with a new company that is called as Masala Factory. That is called as Masala Factory. Right. So what Guna did? Guna was transferring uh, seven, I mean, uh, the intellectual property rights. The intellectual property rights was transferred to that Masala Factory so that 70% uh, royalty, so that 70% royalty was given to this masala factory. So this was the previous example. So Guna was running a biryani factory. He has to pay 300 crores of tax. To escape from tax, he started masala factory in Mauritius and he transferred the IP rights. So in terms of royalty payment, 70%, that is 700 crores, 1000 crores is the total amount, in which 70%, 700 crores was sent to Mauritius in the form of royalty payment. I hope you remember this. So why Mauritius was chosen? Because Mauritius is a tax haven. It is a low tax destination. So the 700 crores in Mauritius, it will not be taxed by that government. Even if they tax, they will impose a very small tax of 1% or 0.5 or sometimes even 0.1%. So if this money, if it is in India, Indian government is imposing 30% tax. So what Guna is doing through this arrangement, he is taking the money out of India, he takes to Mauritius because Mauritius is a tax haven. Here the tax is very, very less, 1% or less than that. This is the reason why Guna took the money to the Mauritius. This is why the tax base of Guna was in India. The tax base was eroded from India. It was taken to the Mauritius by shifting the profits. This is called as BEPS. But imagine if Mauritius is also imposing 30% tax, what will happen? If Mauritius also imposes 30% tax, Guna will not go to Mauritius. Maybe Guna might go to Switzerland because Switzerland is also a tax haven. But imagine if Switzerland is also imposing a tax of 30%, what Guna will do? Guna might go to Panama. Panama is also a tax haven. Now assume if Panama is also imposing a tax of 30%, what will happen? India is imposing a tax of 30%. Mauritius is also imposing a tax of 30%. Switzerland 30%. Panama 30%. Imagine if all the countries in the world, they impose a tax of 30%. What will happen? What will happen? Guna will choose to stay in India only. He cannot take, there will be no use. Even if he takes to Mauritius, Mauritius government will put 30% tax. Even if Guna takes to Switzerland, Switzerland government will put 30% tax. So what Guna will do? Guna will choose to retain in India only. He is forced to pay this entire tax amount. He cannot involve in base erosion profit shifting. BEPS is not possible in such situation. So achieving that situation is the objective of this global minimum tax. Why not entire globe, all the countries in the world, why not have a common minimum tax? Why not a common minimum tax? Here the tax they refer to corporate tax. They refer to corporate tax. If India is also having a corporate tax of 30%, 30% 
other countries they also have a tax of 30 percent then the countries can the countries they have there will be no incentive for them to shift to the tax base they will stay in india guna in biryani factory will stay in india will pay and pay 300 crores because there is no scope there is no benefit by transferring there is no benefit because every country is taxing higher amounts so the idea of global minimum tax is to have a common corporate tax structure around the world but here we are talking about minimum right so the idea is the idea is let us say a 15 percent the minimum that should be 15 percent tax be it Mauritius, be it Singapore, be it Panama, be it USA, be it India, the minimum tax should be 15 percent. This was the idea. This idea is suggested by OECD. So OECD we saw we they are taking efforts to curb the base erosion profit shifting. So one such effort taken by OECD is they proposed a, a minimum corporate tax, common corporate tax that is the GMT, draw, I mean global minimum tax proposed by OECD to tackle this DEPS because if every country is having some uh, common minimum tax, there will be no incentive to move from one country to another country. European Union, they are okay with this. Many developing countries, they said okay with this. Now what is the stand of India? India is also happy. India is also happy because India is also losing huge amount of money, billions and billions of dollars India is losing because of DEPS. So India said we are also happy. but but we are not okay with this proposed 15 percent because in india the corporate tax on an average it will hover around 25 percent that is after adding such charges such benefits everything the uh, the corporate tax will be around 25 percent the proposed minimum tax is 15 percent so when you compare to the proposed gmt the proposed gmt is 15 percent if you take the case of india the tax currently is 25 percent when you compare these two again this is very low 25 percent is high 15 percent is low so the companies in india they might still go to other countries they might still involve in deps to have reduced taxation yes or no so if yes assume that if this proposed gmt uh, crystallizes every country is going with that this is a proposed idea if this happens now what will happen in India it will be 25 percent other countries if it is 15 percent because the proposed idea is global minimum tax minimum every country should have 15 percent more than that their wish India is having 25 percent other countries having 15 percent assume Mauritius has 15 percent what will happen still there can be base erosion profit shifting or if India to avoid that situation if India reduces to 15 percent what will happen India will, India will again lose a lot of corporate tax revenue. So what India proposed is, see, 15 percent is very low, right? We will also compromise from 25 percent, we will come to around 22 percent or 21 percent. We will, we will also compromise. You also do not see 15 percent as your uh, minimum corporate tax, bring it to 20, 21, 22. We can find some common point so that it benefits everyone. That is India's stand. So now, as idea, as idea, global minimum tax has a lot of merit, no doubt. When this comes into reality, then BEPS, the, the scope for BEPS is gone. But is it really possible to achieve? Because take small countries like Mauritius. These small countries, why do they reduce their tax rate that much? Why India is taxing 30% on the uh, income? But why Mauritius is taxing only 1%? See, Mauritius is a small country. Okay. Uh, they need to bring in investments. India is a very big country. India has a lot of resources. India is having a lot of capacity. A lot of people will come and invest. But if you take countries like Mauritius, they are very small. They depend on tourism largely. So if they reduce their tax structure, if they reduce their tax structure, to that small country, lot of big companies can set up their bases. Lot of big companies, they can set up their branch offices, headquarters in Mauritius and then they can operate all around the world. Even big companies, 
even 1% if they share it to the Mauritius government. For Mauritius, for a small country like Mauritius, that 1% is still significant. Getting my point? Mauritius, a small island country, only tourism is uh, having some scope. Right? There is no big human resource, there is no big mineral resource. Such country, if they are able to lower their tax structure, this is going to bring in more investments. Investments in the sense what? Many companies, many multinational companies, they can set up their branch offices in Mauritius, sometimes headquarters in Mauritius for saving tax amount. It can happen, right? So at least 1% from such big multinational companies going to Mauritius will be more profitable for the Mauritius government. So these small, small countries, they reduce their tax structure to bring in more investments. Are you clear? So this is the idea behind Mauritius, Panama, Singapore, Switzerland, etc. Now these are individual, independent, sovereign nations. Global minimum tax will dictate the tax structure of the small countries. Do you think Mauritius will allow for 15%, 20% rise? Do you think Singapore will allow? Do you think Panama will allow? Do you think Switzerland will allow? Every country they will try to work towards their own benefits. Right? Their country benefit is very important. So if Mauritius is going to agree for a global minimum tax, Mauritius will be facing huge loss. Panama will be facing huge loss. So bringing this GMT into reality is actually challenging. I am not saying it is not possible, it is challenging. If we are able to bring it to reality, great, we have a lot of advantages. But there are a lot of challenges as well. So we need a more uh, collaborative effort in achieving this. So let's wait and see what happens to GMT. So I hope you got some clarity. Please watch BEPS video and then watch GMT. Only then you will get clarity. I will see you tomorrow with another interesting topic. Till then, bye. Take care.